So what, what are the challenges that, you know, Verisquat uh, faces that might impact its, you know, potential to, to achieve blockbuster status? Um, so as I just mentioned, uh, Verisquat is likely to be used in a later um, line of treatment. Uh, for patients who continue to experience worsening heart failure symptoms despite optimal treatment with uh, standard of care therapies. Um, so it's likely to be a niche drug, uh, which will obviously restrict its patient share. Uh, it is also potentially going to experience some reimbursement barrier, um, as has previously been seen for Entresto. Um, so it's... Uh, the majority of, of, of standard of care therapies uh, are available as inexpensive generics. So payers, um, especially in the United States, are likely to impose some restrictions on the use of, of this premium priced uh, drug. Uh, we've seen, as we've seen previously for Entresto, probably step therapy and prior authorization are going to, to restrict access to, to this drug. Uh, also, with it being a completely new drug to the market, physicians might be more reluctant to prescribe this drug, which they have no familiarity with, um, as compared to, for example, Farxiga, which, even though it's only launching for heart failure market, it's been previously available for other indications, and physicians might have got familiar with it uh, previously. Mm -hmm.